In the past, we've had all sorts of public health services, such as main drainage and water supply. Everyone makes use of these services, and everyone pays for them. Refuse disposal is another of these services. And so is street cleaning. These are all public health services, but the new Health Act proposes to organize personal health services in the same way. There have been many personal health services, but different kinds of financial arrangements. Morning, George. Morning, Charles. Morning. Some people could afford them. Others could not. Some places were well off for hospitals. Others were unlucky. This new health service will be organized on a national scale as a public responsibility. The cost of the service will be met from rates, taxes, and national insurance, and so everyone will pay for it. Hmm, thought there was a catch in it. And everyone will benefit from it. When you're ill, you won't have to pay for treatment. I don't have to pay the doctor now. I'm on the panel. Yes, that's true, but your wife and children aren't. The panel system covers only half the population. And it doesn't cover hospital treatment or a lot of other things, does it? Now, suppose, just suppose, you fall off your bike. Suppose your brakes give out. have concussion as well. You'd be carted off in an ambulance, which might cost a couple of quid. And then you'd have to pay the hospital too. All right. Phew, glad that's over. The new health service would cover all this. Now let's consider it from the family viewpoint. Suppose your wife falls ill suddenly. But my woman never is ill. Strong as a blooming horse she is. We mothers can't afford to be ill. I'm not insured. Just a minute, Dad. And besides, I can't take time off from my job. Well, that's just it. Now, let's see how the new Health Act will actually help you. The local council will have a new duty to provide home nursing, health visiting, and home help services, and you will be able to call on them. Maternity and child welfare services will be improved. And finally, to prevent illness, you'll have the advice of your own doctor. If you're ill, you'll have specialist services if you need them, without worrying about the cost. That's more like it. How does the whole scheme work? Well, suppose we see how it is at present. Hospitals were built haphazard according to the varying foresight and resources of many different authorities, with extremely patchy results. Reorganizing will take time, but at the end of it, the country will have the sort of hospitals and other services it needs where they are needed. The family doctor will usually work in his own surgery, as he does now. But special health centers will gradually be established as building allows. He'll be backed up, your doctor I mean, by organized hospital and specialist services for the rarely difficult cases, a lesson we learned during the war. Sounds a bit of all right to me, but just a minute. Where do I come in? Right here. 
Let's have a practical demonstration. Off you go to the doctor. You have some unusual illness which can't be diagnosed. He'll no doubt wish you to see a specialist. In hospital, you'll be under observation. This will include x-ray if it's found necessary. They may decide you need special drugs. Or blood transfusion. And they'll be able to make use of the path lab to find out what's wrong and how best to make you well. Glad that's over. But look here. How about the people who don't want to use this service? Take old George up the road, for instance. Bet you're proud of a penny he won't want to have anything to do with it. Well, let's find out. Morning, George. Busy? What's your opinion of this new health act? No use to me, old man. Now, wait a minute. Just suppose, only suppose, mind you, you fell off that ladder. What would happen? I should call my doctor and have a private ward at the local hospital. All right, George. If you want to pay private fees, that's your lookout. No one's forcing you to use this service. But suppose instead of a simple broken leg, you have a complicated break. And suppose you have to spend months off sick. And suppose you don't need just one doctor, but a number of experts' opinions. What's the answer to that? Ruin! With this new act, you're covered against things like that. I say, thanks a lot, old man. It's all yours, whenever you want it, with your own choice of doctor. And that goes for the whole family. The scheme is comprehensive. It's not only to help you when you're ill, but to help to keep you well. And, of course, the younger generation will stand to gain the biggest benefits of all.